What I've seen is people who are leaders in organizations and leaders in um, their own families come together and realize, I can't do this on my own. The factory cares a lot about the community. The churches care a lot about the community. The township is highly invested in the community. The businesses are highly invested in the community. The school is contributing massively to the community. But when we all come together, what we're able to contribute back to this community is far greater than any of us could do individually. With all of these social services and all these just great people from the factory, we feel like there's not a, a problem we can't overcome. When I talk to, to parents and say, you know, I'd like for you to call one of the advocates, and then I talk to the advocates and say, so and so is going to be calling you, like almost like I'm, I'm opening the door a little bit. Everybody says, hey, you know, you're taking a chance and all that kind of stuff, but when you trust the people that you're working with, I don't feel like it's taking a chance. And we nowadays have to take a chance for our kids. Being transparent and trusting that everybody has just the good of people in mind is how we make it work. And it all kind of has gone back to the question that Tim Rogers always asks very well, and that is, how can we help? That core question has driven what our collaboration in the Pequa Valley community has been. We have a lot of people working together, you know, for the good of the community. We all have to be a part of this. We all have to do this to make it work. The agenda is genuinely being agenda free in this. Everybody has a seat at the table in a very authentic way. You know, any one of us um, may be deficit in some area or under resourced in some area and may need to tap into services. So it's not just for people in poverty, it's across the board that at any given time, any of us may find ourselves in, in a different situation that we're going to need some more assistance. They run some good classes here to help you learn about yourself. It helped me learn to try not to judge others. All three, poor, middle, and wealthy, all have the same problems, but in a different way. There is no class difference here at the factory. Everyone is loved just the same, and is greeted the same, and is, is felt warmly welcomed the same. The fact that I can come up here and get some food, and give me something to do, and the activities that they have can make you feel like your, your worth is a lot more. People appreciate knowing that there's a place that they can go to. It has completed who we are as a community. Before it was rather lonely. We realized coming here to the factory, we have met so many of our neighbors. I, I've just been so proud of what we've created as a community here. When we are focusing on the needs here and saying, how can we step in to help that? To just see how this ministry had gone from this one so very crowded youth center. It was just wall-to-wall -wall kids. To see it go from that to this, we have this whole building and so many different services that it provided. It's been, I think, a great manifestation of the original vision of the factory of not just being a place for teenagers to come, but also a place to help our community more holistically, more systemically. Relationship with people is key to anybody wanting to move forward or to change something in their life. It's very hard to do it on your own. Everybody's going through something. Everybody is on their own journey and whatever that journey is matters to everybody. Well, everybody has worth. How can we look at anybody and think, you know, like I'm, I'm better than you. I mean, we have to hold people accountable and, and everything, but you still empower and help them to, to rise up. Each human being counts. And I think in this day and age with the climate out there, it's even more important that we approach things that way on a daily basis. That's what the factory, that's what uh, the Together Initiative Network is about. It's about bringing hope to people. We're all coming from different places. Uh, we've all had different experiences. Every single person is born brilliant at something. It's really just connecting with people to find out what their strength is. This ministry is here for everyone in the community at the time that they might need it. It's not just about our family. It's not about those we go to church with. It's everybody that we meet. We need each other to be able to go through that journey because on the low parts, you need someone to help you go through. And on the high parts, then you have someone to celebrate it with. My life, my journey is as important to them as theirs is to me.